Uh, the first we're going to talk about is the preset deployment. Uh, the, this is normally for like large scale natural disasters, whether you know they're coming, for example, like a hurricane or example of a large uh, earthquake or um, a flood, something that's going to be not just a couple day event, but it's going to be a long range event where you're going to have your preparation stage, you're going to have your event stage, and it's going to follow up with a very long recovery stage. And in these deployments, what you're going to do within your system in the institution area of your program is you're going to build a station that's going to be, as you see here, like a hurricane event. We're going to build an event and have everything already preset, pre-deployed, all the positions already pre-built for a large scale incident. When we build these things and it comes time to that you need to activate it, you'll simply enable the event and it will start appearing and populating on your schedules and rosters. When this happens, it's going to allow your people, if you choose so, to sign up for the event and sign up for where you want them to be or where they want to be. And it's also going to be one of your best options for a large scale disaster deployment because you can put it anywhere on your roster. You can put it at the top, you can put it at the bottom, in the middle, doesn't matter. You can choose and have it customized where you would like it placed. In the meantime, you know, when you don't have these disasters, that's why we have it disabled so it doesn't clutter up your roster and you have to sit there and look at it all the time. Because they can be quite large depending on the size of your department. For example, my current department, we have 17 units and we don't want to have 17 extra units showing up on the schedule because when we go into our hurricane deployment mode, we go into a 12 hour rotation instead of our normal 24th. 